Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my studio. So today, we actually have a couple of new um, animal figures. It's inside this box to actually open up and add to our collection. So let's open them up together, okay? So let's go. Alright, so let's have a look at this. What is this, okay? This is um, basically a new bird, I think. It looks pretty cool. What is this actually? It is a um, Anhingar. Okay, I don't think we have any facts about this bird right here. Let me just open the little uh, leaflet to see whether there's any facts. Nope, we don't have any facts about this little bird right here. I mean, it doesn't look small. It looks like a, a crane to me, a black crane with like white feathers. Looking very cool. Yep, I've never heard of um, this species of um, you know birds before. So let's have a look at others. What is this? This seems to be an albatross. So let's open this up and um, have a look together. All right. Yeah, definitely seems to be an albatross looking at the wings. So let's us take a look at the name, which should be written, yeah, right over here. Yep, it's a giant albatross and it comes with a uh, flat card. So I'm just going to, um, open this fact card and um, have a look together. Albatrosses can glide for hours without ever having to flap their wings, which is kind of like, um, you know, eagles. So eagles can basically, you know, glide in the um, sky for a couple of hours. So very similar to the um, albatross. Awesome stuff. Yeah, so you can see they have like really, really white wings, really big wings. Very beautiful figure. I'll place this right here. Okay, let me just zoom out a little bit so that you guys can actually see more clearly. Okay, so let's open up another one. Seems to be another bird figure. All right, let's see what we have right here. Okay, so I think this one, let's see what is the name written right, um, right below. It's a raven, okay? So let me get this tag out. I'll put the raven here. I'll open this fact sheet. So ravens are completely black and I know that ravens are actually super, super intelligent um, birds. Yep, they're like crows, very intelligent. I'll place this right over here. So, so far we have an anhingar, a raven, and an albatross. So let's see what else we have. Okay, what is this? Let's see. Okay, I'll just, um, seems to be a cat. I think in the future, I'll go, I'm gonna be doing more cats and um, dogs videos. So let's have a look at this. What is this actually? Uh, let's remove the tag. Okay, it actually shows, is it a Mary cat? A Manx cat, okay? Let me put this right here first. Um, let me open up the little fact sheet and um, let's have a look. The mostly Taylor's Manx cat originated on the Isle of Man. I think it should be an island. Very cool. So let's take a look at this Manx cat together. Looks kind of adorable. Yep, it has like black fur, but white fur underneath. The paws are also in um, white. The central part of the face is also in white. And you can see it has like beautiful green eyes. Very cool. Next. Let's take a look. Seems like we have another bird right here. So let's open this together. Okay, this is actually a blue footed booty. Nice. Let's take this out. I'll remove um, this over here. I'll place this here first. I'll open the fact sheet so that we can actually have a look at the facts. So during mating season, male birds will walk with exaggerated movements to show off their blue feet. Oh, so their blue feet is basically, you know, kind of, um, um, you know, feature to attract mates. So they're going to be walking with like, you know, really, really exaggerated movements so that the female birds can actually notice their feet. Kind of cute. Yep, very cute. So what is this called again? Blue footed booty so i guess the more beautiful their feet are 
the higher the chance of attracting female booties, I guess. Yeah, very, very cute. Okay, here's another one. Seems to be a um, red Macau. So let's have a look at this. Let's open this together. So what is this known as? Green winged Macau. Okay, let's remove this. Let's have a look at this. Wow, it looks fantastic. I mean, they do look like parrots. I mean, they are parrots technically, I think. So let's have a look at what's written right here. This large parrot eat fruits, nuts, seeds, and buds. Okay, these are pretty much, you know, facts that we already know. So a really beautiful green winged. Why is it known as a green winged macaw? Because I can see, you know, majority of the wing is actually in blue color. Very weird. Okay, but you can see, um, very parrot-like looking. So we actually have a couple of macaws in our collection, so I'm very happy to have added another one. So this is another cat. What is this known as? Um, it's a grey tabby cat. So let's have a look at this together. Alright, so let's take a look at this grey tabby cat. There's plenty of stripes across the body, of course. The base coat is actually in um, grey color, beautiful eyes. Seems to be, yeah, a very adorable cat. Put this right here first. I'm gonna be opening the, um, this fat card. So let's have a look at what's written right here. D. Ifteka Kitty, one of the first mass produced stuffed animals, was modded after a tabby. I have no idea what is that toy. Okay, let's put our cats on the, um, the right hand side and the birds on the left. Let's see what else we've got. Here's another figure. This is another cat, I guess. Okay. Wow, this one is hard to open. I'm gonna need... No, it's okay. We've got it out. So what is this? Seems to be an orange tabby cat. I have no idea. So let's remove the tag and have a look. What is this? Uh, an orange cat? Let's have a look at the name. Grey Tabby. Why is it known as a Grey Tabby? Let me put here. Uh, let me just check first. The Tabby Cat. The Tabby Cat isn't a breed. It is a variation of color pattern. Okay, this is not a Grey Tabby. This is basically a Tabby Cat. I think it's, um, it's named wrongly. Very beautiful cat. Let me put the tabby cat over here. So tabby cat is basically this, this color, I guess. What's next? We have a Siamese cat. Yeah, I think we could have this one already. I'm, I'm not very sure. So, that's because I re actually remember we, we do have a Siamese cat figure. Okay, check this out. A beautiful Siamese cat. Let me put this here first. And um, let me open up the... Um, the fact card. Let's have a look together. The world's the world's oldest male cat was a Siamese named Scooter who lived to age 30. Wow! 30 years old is very impressive. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Here is another one. I think this could be what is this kind of cat called? Um, I can't remember. It's basically known as a Persian cat. Let me get this out. Well, you can see they look very fluffy. Yep, the fur is like so thick. They definitely look super adorable. Put this here. Oh, let's open up um, the fat card. Persians didn't always have flattened faces. This trait was not a breed characteristic until 1950. So I think previously they didn't have flat faces, but I feel the flat faces look extremely adorable. What about you guys? What do you guys think? Okay, we are left with a couple more figures. Let's open this. What is this? A green bird. Let's see what's this. Seems to be a green parrot. Let's remove this. Okay, it's getting stuck here. Okay, let's see. Wow, a beautiful parrot looking. Is this like a lorikeet? Yes, it is. Lorikeet. Okay, I'll put this right here first. Let's read some facts about the lorikeet. Lorikeets 
brush tip tongue is used for feeding on nectar. That's nice. That's nice. So they do have a tongue which is you know like a brush, and you can they can just brush the nectar easily off the flowers. This seems to be a bird of prey, a huge one. Let's see. Wow. It looks like a falcon to me. Let's see. Let's remove this. Let's see what's this. Harpy eagle. Wow, looks very, very amazing. I love the feathers. Looks especially majestic. Yep. Looks like a ferocious kind of a um, bird. Let's have a read um, about the facts. This agile flyers often fly low over rainforest to snatch prey. Yeah, so they're basically birds of prey. They will feed on like small little animals. Oh, I'm not too sure whether they will feed on small little birds, but I guess so. Yeah. What is this? This seems to be a kookaburu. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Oh, it is! Kookaburu. Yeah. Kookabura. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, you get the idea. Let's see what is written right here. These Australian birds are known for their laughter like calls. Very cute looking. Very adorable. Alright, so let's see. So we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight new birds to our collection. And one, two, three, four, five, five of uh, new cats to our collection. So I'm very happy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. In our next video, I'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of birds, probably my entire collection of um cats and dogs as well, okay? Stay tuned, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Goodbye.